गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर टुडेज रेसिपी आई एम मेकिंग अ सिंपल क्रिस्पी जुकीनी की सब्जी आई ट्राई दिस रेसिपी इन अ रेस्टोरेंट एंड आफ्टर ट्राइंग इट आई बिकेम सच बिग फैन ऑफ दिस रेसिपी दैट आई डिसाइडेड टू ट्राई इट ऑन माय ओन सो होप यू विल आल्सो एंजॉय इट सो हियर आई हैव टेकन 2 टेबलस्पून ऑफ ऑयल इन अ पैन एंड देन आई हैव एडेड हींग और एसिड इन दैट देन आई एम एडिंग 2 टीस्पून ऑफ जीरा और क्यूमिन सीड्स Make sure your oil is pretty hot before adding the cumin seeds. To this I'm adding chopped ginger and garlic. And then I'm lightly sauteing everything together. Now add one big chopped onion and I would like to stress here that you cut onions with your hand and not by using a chopper. because we need to crisp the onion evenly from all sides and you need to crisp this onion for approximately 7 to 8 minutes and once the onions are thoroughly crisp then add your rest of the spices so here you can see that i'm adding 2 teaspoon of coriander powder 3/4 teaspoon of red chili powder and 3/4 teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder now saute everything for approximately 1 to 2 minutes and here i would like to tell you that if you add your masalas beforehand in any vegetable especially dry vegetable it gives better results now i'm adding 3 to 4 tablespoon of tomato ketchup and mixing everything by mixing tomato ketchup it gives a very good tangy flavor to the sabzi which i really like now i have added all the cut zucchini and as you can see that i have tried to cut the zucchini in a uniform manner Then I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and gently mixing everything. Lastly, add three four teaspoon of garam masala, some freshly chopped cilantro, and mix everything gently. Then cover the lid and let it cook for approximately 7 to 8 minutes and also check once in a while in between. So I'm showing you this in fast forward but I have probably checked the sabzi one to two times in between just to make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom. So we need to cook the sabzi uh, not completely and it should have some kind of crunch to it and that is what you will like about this sabzi. So here you go guys your simple zucchini ki sabzi is ready in less than 20 minutes this is a very unique combination and a very unique sabzi that i'm sure most of you have never tried so please do try this recipe and let me know how it turned out for you i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe if you did enjoy today's recipe please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this thank you so much for watching bye bye